Hi guys, I just want to show you just some of the ways that I keep a little bit of my notes and some of my work just for future creations. This is a humongous big journal behind you and this is just a little one that I have on the side. Basically, we're just going to go for a really quick flip through. So this is my way of finding out and practicing with ideas. First of all, just literally um, covering the front page of a book. A little bit of decoupage and um, using a napkin here and just playing around with um, images and textures and different techniques prior to actually putting these items into a journal so you can see that I've also put acrylic wax over the top it's something that allows me to be able to touch the product without all the oils and greases going in You've got a version here of just a colour wash going on with some watercolours and I was trying out um, a little gesso and the salt technique. If you put salt and put it onto your wet paint, onto your surface, it actually makes it sort of, um, it moves away and leaving this lovely mottled appearance. So, and then sometimes if I find inspiration when I'm going out to art galleries, I tend to um, see occasionally I might buy a postcard and then do a little bit of information about what I saw. I was practicing here with a doily. Some coffee staining here, just on this piece of stationery, using a plastic stencil, and this literally is black cheap acrylic paint from my local sort of like cheapy shop with a very small run of white acrylic no gesso just seeing and playing with effects it's really nice to look back and see what I've done cutting from a magazine and then sort of like um, dare I say it, a bit of tracing here of a particular artist from London using different found items within my home and just spraying straight onto my page. It's not necessarily the most effective but it was just allowing me a chance to see how things worked. Then following a YouTube tutorial and just sort of making my own twist on that and a little bit, some tissue paper here and me just writing. I, I like to do a little bit of writing and journaling around the outside edge. And then back to the plastic um, doilies and I gesso both of these pages and the plastic doilies I've put underneath and then just used a colouring pencil and literally just literally rubbed over. So there is a small amount of a raised surface but I really do think that they've come out quite well and that makes for a nice background and you can still take a much darker pen and write across both of those pages if you wish to journal or you could cut them out. You can the, the things you could do with that is endless. You could put more decoupage on it but or make them into tags. Now I'm not just going to do the quickest of flick throughs on this particular portfolio. I was trying to um, practice with some um, Dylon uh, Colour Fun Image Maker and I was just taking some of my pictures and then just seeing if I could put it onto um, Calico and then sort of like showing I kept a little swatch here. I don't think my product went and turned out very well as you can see. I only have a cheap printer so everything bled. Then we move on. I started practicing making um, using cotton doilies and I use three of the same cotton doilies here on the left hand side. Let's bring that over. And I've kept a little tab telling me that the bottom one I use onion skins, the next one I use avocado, then I use some turmeric and then I did some tea staining and then I just at the very very top kept the original one. So I use the same same set and just playing around and seeing what colour images I could get. This is tea staining through a plastic, a real robust plastic doily. And then that was me using that technique where I'd done the rubbing. So I've made a couple of envelopes on this particular page. And I've done some journaling to give me information here. Trying different varieties, brown paper and texture paper. Um, just trying to work out if I could just use household filler dare I say it, or did I need to invest in texture paste. Some boiled paper here, 
um, boiled, when I say boiled, I literally mean boiled with leaves inside on some um, cartridge paper, just for about five minutes with the leaves tightly wrapped and impact to see if we could actually get some effect from the leaves onto the actual paper. People do this with indigo dye and have some great success. Most predominant leaves and foliage will come out a yellow colour and I will turn around and say this has definitely got to be done outside because the fumes, the smell of actually boiling um, your leaves, I wouldn't turn around and say I found it pretty repulsive. Going back before I disappear, I did use household filler. This is going to crack. It, it will not move. Um, you can, if you move it, it literally breaks away. So I recommend that texture paste is a, or if you make your own, if there is a recipe, it's got to work out far better than, yet again, this particular household interior. It just didn't work for me. Then you see me sort of playing around with um, sort of explaining about the stencils on just using those rubber stencils. I um, took the uh, some nice, beautiful, thick handmade paper using, I just predominantly played with the plastic doilies, rubbed the um, plastic doilies into the um, homemade paper so I damped, I just sprayed some water onto the paper and this has left like a wonderful embossed impression. Then I took some rubbing buff and I've only got amethyst and silver and this is the result that you can see that, um, get a bit of light. So that's me just giving little references, brown paper and gesso and using the stencil and then you've already seen an example of the black acrylic and white acrylic. I've journaled accordingly then I started layering up thinking about playing about pockets and tucks and pages that could be with flaps. Could we use this side? Could I use that? What type of journaling? Coffee staining? Just all sorts of playing around with ideas. Then on, probably coming up to one of my last pieces here, more tags. And these tags have been put in a little piece of plastic. And we're moving on to working with stencils. A bit of stenciling and a little bit of a raised texture on top here. And plain back on the tag and then this one this has got a really nice wonderful heart embellishment a little piece of vellum here which I've stamped with a bumblebee a little um, fragmented leaf a little bit of lace and underneath just a little bit of um, gold and a little bit of um, muslin very simple but um, very twee enjoyable there and then we've just adding about a, a little bit of crochet trim at the bottom and then starting an idea of taking a tag, spraying it with gold and then just literally the process is here of then doing some layering up and then also using distressing on bits and pieces. This one was me putting um, a cheap napkin through my printer it's turned out very, very black. Using um, some metallic tape and just yet again, all the things within my home trying to get a wonderful textured surface, cocktail sticks, um, builder's tape, and I grunged it up by making, it was originally silver, and then I've just taken black acrylic paint and some distress ink and then just wiped it all off and as you'll see there's some brads up the top there so that's just some ways of adding a bit of texture to my work running this through an embossing folder and then you've just got varieties here of some mixed media mottled paper then we've moved on very simply to using some um, parchment paper and this is another piece here which has got some of the texture tape and just some white acrylic 
um, paint rubbed through it hasn't left it's bled quite the paints bled into each other not leaving a wonderful texture but yet again it's in there it's a reference and then we've just got a few other little pictures here decoupaging using a napkin just taking out the bird and just trying to use the texture and um, the builder scrim up the sides here or decoupaging a little bit of stamping just playing with ideas and different products I think I moved on to using Mod Podge onto this one and we've just got some blown lines some, some acrylic paint um, just literally using a straw and blowing to see the effects I wanted to have a go at making some silver birches so I duly took out my paints and just had a little play and then we've got things from pizza boxes that I have used to make a raised image and all sorts of stamping and string and cotton and threads and um, corrugated card. Well thank you guys, I just wanted to show you just some of the things that I do have tucked away that I do carry on as a practice pieces to um, help me out for later on in the future. I will catch up with you later, bye bye.